Yo, what up is Don. Simile here. We are the Soul Brothers. Thanks for tuning in. What up? Right back at you with a performance review. A uh, does it still basketball? Does mm. it still basketball? That is a question because this is a retro Jordan 13. Air Jordan 13 legendary signature. Of course, um, this is a retro. They just retro you know, like these. An day. These are the Black Cats. Um, so let's get right into it. Traction. So he got these. Yeah. I didn't get them because they, they had the these at the outlets. Yes, and they were full price though. Yes, um, they had them at the outlets. Like, oh, you, you got to pay full price because these are like highly sought after, and nobody highly bought sought them. after. Nobody bought the shits. Ah. Wow, there's another little lace hole right here. Yep. Okay, uh, eyelid. I mean, so uh, let's hop right in talking tech. Uh, the traction. Herringbone. Herringbone. Pods. Herringbone pods. You know, uh, I was a little bit iffy about it, but traction is a nutty. Amazing. I haven't had any problems. And I, I don't think I wiped it once. Um, conditions have been very good on our court, though. No, it has not. Yes, it has. No, well, not has for the past not. few days, but yes. for the past like like month, it's been raining so much. It has been, but then the last few days, it has not. And he was like, dude, the conditions are still good. I was like, yeah. no, it's not. It sucks. I'm slipping all over. And what was I playing in? You, you, well, you said you were in the LeBron. Oh yeah, the, I was playing in the LeBron 14s. Those weren't sticking. So I had to switch it up to the Kyrie 3 and the Kyrie 2 because I wanted to play. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, oh shit. And then uh, he did, played more and then he wasn't slipping at all. So I'm assuming the traction is really good. It's, uh, I mean, I, I'm... This shoe is, is crazy, man. I, I, I can't believe it. it. It's The traction was insane. It was like a 10. Really? I don't even know why. I, I never wiped it. I never even thought of slipping out. No dust was on it. Um, the bite is pretty crazy. Um, so, better than Kyrie 3? The Kyrie 2 tracking? Um, or on par? On par. On par. You know, it's tough. It, it, it's really tough um, to, to say, you know... The Kyrie does have its, its um, advantages, like the, the pivot points and stuff are really cool. And the way the outsole is, is, is really dope. But this traction is just, uh, you know, it's nothing to complain about. It's crazy. So, so a 10. I'm going to give it a 10. Damn. It's good. Now, right. Um, right um, on top of that or under that, depends on how you look at it, is a carbon fiber midfoot shank plate. Flight plate, flight speed, I don't think they were calling it that back then, but that's what they call it now. It bends, look. Um, and it bends and recoils Rebound. real nice. Rebound. Boom, it's a freaking catapult. Boom. Yeah. And you know, that's a light, strong material. It's a nice premium material also. Uh, but enough of that, let's move on to the cushion. Now, the cushion is full length phylon, okay? But you also have a couple zoom units in there. Top loaded zoom units in the heel and forefoot. Pretty big zoom units. Yeah. I believe it was like eight, eight millimeters thick mm -hmm. on both of them. If you guys didn't watch the dismantling video and it felt what? Uh, incredible. So what a sexy time. He said. Maybe one of my top cushion setups of all time. Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, just not too much. It's just, just enough. I feel like for me, they made it just right for my liking. Um, it's a little bit of bounce, a little bit of impact protection. You still feel low. You still a little bit it. of impact protection or a lot or a good amount? No, no, a good amount of impact protection. Okay, because you said a little. Sorry, no. Okay. A, good, a lot of impact protection, um, but not too much um, where, as to where you're, you're noticing it, right? The heel to toe transition is amazing. When you step right here in the heel, the compression is so soft and nice. Um, and it travels all the way through the forefoot onto the toe. It looks like a butt crack. Yeah, you can see, um, uh, <laughs> you can see, that's the back of the back right there. It's like a butt crack. Baby got back. Oh my God. Um, uh, you can really feel the zoom units, but they're not overboard. Uh, it's just, it's just awesome. It, it's just a complete perfect setup in my opinion. It's a 10. It's a 10. Boom! I'm All sorry. right. I'm sorry. I wish it wasn't a 10, but it is. Damn. Okay. Um, so now moving on to the upper. 
Uh, it looks. Uh, this is a different kind of material. Uh, the original has leather. This does not. This is suede, and then this uh, kind of piece is a woven type of textile material mm -hmm. um, overlaying that, and uh, gets pretty soft. It is soft. It gets. You know, it's not as much as like a. Obviously, a lot of the newer materials, but it, it, it's soft enough. You know, it's 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 suede, and uh, it, it could be better, but it's soft enough put it that way you know you got 3m touches throughout this piece here which is cool um you have this uh eye it's like a jaguar eye which i think is really sick it's like a little hologram of course you can see the 23 and the, uh, the Jumpman logo in there um yeah materials are i mean premium definitely um as far as looks wise uh, performance they still work really well um, you know, it's a soft suede. It's not a real thick, hard leather that you got to break in forever. Pretty much out of the box, I felt, I felt, you know, the upper was soft enough. So where are you gonna? So do I'm that? gonna give the materials like an eight. An eight. Right. Okay. Now moving on the fit. How is the fit? The fit is. Um, I'm gonna put it this way. The fit is great. If you have a normal foot. Now I have a narrow foot, so I'm taking that into consideration. It's a little bit roomy for me, so I did put an insole in. On top of the insole. On top of the insole, an extra insole in, but it's just a thin one. And that seemed to fix that. Um, so fit for me, I would give like uh, an eight. You know, it could have been a little better, but it was still great. Um, and for you people with normal side, normal width feet, it's gonna be perfect. Um, also, it runs true to size lengthwise, okay. um, so get your get your normal size with Nike. Okay. If you're gonna cop these. Support. Support uh, was really good. It's like a mid. It's like a mid high. Yeah. Um, nothing to complain about. Nothing insanely spectacular. You know, as, in regards to ankles, it's pretty wide. I felt pretty stable on it. Um, so I would give it a nine as far as support. Okay, um, and, you know, and oh. as far as the upper, the, the suede, suede is a strong material, so it's always going to be pretty supportive. Yes. Lockdown, um, I'm going to have to go seven. Seven. Heel slippage? Heel slippage. Just a little bit of heel slippage, and it, which makes me so mad because it's my only gripe with this shoe. Um, it's just feel that. It just goes straight up and down. Mm -hmm. There's no arch in, in, in for your Achilles or for your... Um, your heel so but it wasn't a it wasn't like a deal breaker at all it wasn't even that much of a problem you just tighten your laces down a lot and you're gonna be good but it just is a little annoying you know yeah. what I mean that's it so not a big problem and, and a lot of people a lot of you guys with wider feet may not even have that problem um, I'm assuming so uh, moving on to ventilation nope no hell no there's no ventilation no. holes and it's a thick material yeah so they were pretty hot. warm yeah, they were pretty warm. Okay, and I'm moving on to what? Uh, durability. Seems like a pretty durable shoe. Yeah. It's well put together. It's a retro. Um, so we'll give it uh, a good score. How about a good that? Good score, okay. <clears throat> now, uh, moving on, let's weigh this sucker real quick. Now, this is a size 14, so these aren't going to be anywhere near Sam sizes, uh, weights. But 18.5. Well, 18.5. So, so his normal is like what, 17? Yeah. 17, I think. So it's actually a little. It's not that bad. It's not it, that bad. It actually feels really it light. It feels really too, light. You know. Um, but the most important thing is it feels really light on foot. Yes. It feels real nice, light, quick. Um, you know, no complaints there at all. I, mean, I was actually surprised. I thought it'd be a little lighter on the weight, um, on the scale, but apparently it's not. But it's still, you still feel super light, responsive. Um, so that's good. Let's uh, talk aesthetics real quick. No, I like, I, I like the upper, but then I just I really don't like the midsole. Like <clears throat> yeah, I think how... the midsole could be better. What the fuck? What is this? Yeah, if they would have went with like a normal like midsole, it would have looked a lot better, I think. But I think the upper is. And then the classic. butt crack in the back. Oh my god. The bunk hole. And the butt crack. Oh my god. But you either kind of love them or hate them, I guess aesthetically. Um, actually, that's not true because I don't love or hate them. I just kind of like them. Yeah, I like them too. I just don't like this mid yeah. part, you know. But anyways, now moving on the price. These are expensive as fuck. One hundred and ninety dollar, uh, and it's an old ass shoe. It's a retro it's though, but it's old. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, it's hella old. 
I get yeah, I don't even think these are gonna go on sale. Maybe go down a little bit because the black cats I don't really think sold out or anything. And retros yeah. aren't selling that much anymore. I think some of these are gonna go on sale. The, so, the shoe isn't super hyped. Yeah. But uh wrapping things up. Uh, does it still basketball? Hell yeah, he loves yes. them. And he said, so are these gonna be in your rotation? These are at the top of my rotation. Oh my god. I like, was like, what? I can't even believe it. And every day I played in them, I just started liking them more and more. Um, I, my mind is completely blown. To think that this shoe was doing this back then, and the newest Jordans aren't as good as this to me. That's crazy to me. That's real crazy. And this was at Jordan's what peak? Right? Yeah, it's yeah, he was, he was doing work in yeah, this. Yeah, so, I think right. I don't know. Yeah, but he was getting a little, little older in his career, so that's probably why there's a little bit more cushion and you can feel it. But you know, it's definitely not overkill. Incredible shoe. One of my favorite shoes. Um, probably gonna, gonna be end up being one of my favorite shoes of all time. Wow. I'm guessing. I, I don't know. I have to keep, keep, keep trucking away. Keep playing in them. But I just so, this is the shoe I want to put on. Cop them. Yeah, it you should. still does basketball. Yeah, you should cop these. For back then standards and right now standards, uh, that's a surprise. And I it's like not... a retro, so you're like on the court wearing a retro. Yeah. And it's like, damn, he's balling in retros, but on low key, these are insane. Yes. The performance is insane. Yes. So there it is. Uh, Jordan 13, Black Cat. Incredible. Catch you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.